it's hard to imagine that getting visual snow syndrome is just bad luck. Um, I think fundamentally there must be some genetic component to it. Now we haven't found one and we don't see strong family histories. I'm, there must be something out there. One of the most useful things that could happen in the VSS community would be to identify families that are multi-generational that have v VSS. Now, from the family's point of view, that's not a great thing, but from an understanding point of view, that would be where we could get going. Because at the moment, we don't have enough um, uh, family material to make any sort of progress. I am hopeful that if we could get the material, we get particular insights into how it gets started and of course that would give us insights into how to stop it. We see patients who talk about their what maybe one family member. We haven't seen a large enough cohort that we've been able to interact with the geneticists and make any progress. In these things very often it's just that one family that comes out that just finds out about this that'll make a big difference. I'm hoping that these sorts of things like webcast and so forth just identify that family, we can make so much progress.